relaxing Ableton tutorials. So today, I'm going to give you the ability in Ableton very easily, very simply, and in many different ways, the knowledge and power to make your own evolving atmospheric sounds that will always be different because we're using noise and randomness. You can do this in many different ways in Ableton, and I'll show you the easiest ways. So to get started, we're going to need a MIDI track or MIDI channel. So if we right click, we can insert a MIDI track. Insert a MIDI track. <laughs> Let's give it a better color than brown. This is very important, folks. And we're going to arm it. What we need is white noise. You can get white noise in analog, operator, or you can drop a sample of white noise into sampler or simpler. All you need is white noise and the rest just has to do with LFOs and filtering. So let's drop in an operator. You can double click or drop it on the track. Now we can click in any one of these. We again, want to make sure our um, we're record enabled down here. So we're going to double click in one of these clips. Every note will be the same, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, we, we're going to push shift tab to go back to the other view. And you can hear a sine wave right now. That's because right now we're on a sine wave. If we changed it to square, we'll have that change it to a triangle. But we don't want that. We want just white noise. There's noise looped and white noise. We want white noise because it's every single frequency, every single harmonic, all at the same level. So now we're going to get something very loud, but I'll turn down the frequency here to cut off some of the highs. Now we have a low pass frequency right now, which says only let in frequencies that are below 1000. So if I lower it, we're only letting in frequencies below 447 hertz. If we turn it up, we're now allowing them in. Sorry that was low. We'll also turn down the resonance. That kind of boosts it wherever we are. So we've got this nice sound. Now let's go back into our MIDI clip. Let's go over here and let's make it something really long, like 133 bars. With that MIDI note still selected, so highlighted in blue, you can see it here. If we hit legato, we have a full clip. So let's listen. Launching the clip. Now right there, you could be done. You could be done. Maybe you might want to do some EQing remove some of the mud range. Maybe you want a little bit of compression to beef it up. Maybe you want to go into audio effects, go into reverb, add Ableton's reverb. Ooh, now it really sounds like we're at some beach somewhere. We hear it, the noise. It's very nice. We're just tweaking our reverb, maybe more decay. Do we want that much? I don't know. Maybe you might be done right now, but maybe you want a little bit of extra movement. Because you might be thinking, well, what happens when we move the frequency cutoff a little bit? Okay, now we're really at the beach. Resonance is almost like wind. We're just tweaking these here. Now we want to add movement to this because we don't want to be moving this. We might want to close down our Ableton and work on applying to some jobs that we don't want to do. So we want this to play and move. Now the olden day ways is you would come up here, you would check LFO, and you would turn the rate down, and you would come into the, the LFO panel and you would apply to filter, uncheck these, this says the LFL will apply. Now we're not hearing it yet. Oh, actually we are. Hear it? Chopping? That's too much. It's not like that at the beach. Maybe on an alien beach. Maybe you need that for your alien beach. Please do it. We need more alien beach in the world. Now it sounds fine, but I want to see these dials move. So we're going to do this in all of Ableton Live 11 glory, and we're going to turn off the LFO. No longer impacting us. Why would I do such a crazy thing? Well, because there's a much more efficient way to do it, and a much more fun way. 
So while in audio effects, we're going to go to modulators and we're going to drop the LFO. This LFO you'll only find here if you have Live 11. Now if you have a previous version, as long as you have Max for Live, you will be able to locate the LFO. Right now, the LFO, we're going to get this going on our frequency. Now I don't know why we're not getting visual feedback here, which doesn't really matter. <laughs> because we're getting it here. Normally, th there's a sine wave moving up here. But... So it's too much. I'm going to bring the depth down. It's nice that you've got this feedback, so you can really dial it in nice. Right now, I'm liking this. So we've got the filter frequency being modulated here. If you want it to jitter a little bit more, come with the jitter. You can see the jitter in action. See how it's skipping? I don't think I need too much jitter. I'm going to go with two. I'm liking how this is sounding because it's kind of hanging at certain places and then moving up. Kind of unpredictable. I think I might lower the rate down just a smidge and maybe the depth a little bit more too. Now here's what's really nice is that we can use the same LFO to modulate something else. Like remember our resonance here? See now we're getting more like, like a wind sound? That's because it's boosting this filter cutoff frequency. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click map and I'm going to map the resonance. Now I can use these sliders to move it down. I don't want it to be this windy, so I'm going to move this down a little bit. Notice how it's coming down here on the resonance. Maybe I want to keep it there. Now what else can we do? Well, let's come over to, we're, let's give our noise more character. So we're going to come over here in a filter, and we're going to add a filter type. We're going to come here to filter drive, and we're going to boost this a little bit. Notice how it has more character, more bite. Now I'm going to map the filter drive amount and have that change. It's too much, so let's move down that 100%. Move it back to where it kind of was. So now that's going to respond as well. A few other sound designing tips after you've dialed in your reverb, you may want to get a delay. Any delay will do. Let's come over here to delay. We'll just use a regular delay. You can put it before or after the reverb. Um, normally you would put the delay before the reverb. I'm going to turn it off sync. Notice how it got wider. I'm going to move this filter down so it only delays these sounds. Typically when you, you don't really want a lot of low, the low lows. <laughs> delaying or the highs, it can get annoying. Play with the dry wet. This is no delay, this is full delay. Probably want something here. It sounds very nice. And you can try other things as well if you want to add. Maybe you want to do a little bit of phaser flanger to it. Lower the rate. I'll take it to hertz, lower it down a lot. Play around with the uh, frequency center. Just a little bit of modulation go a long way. You don't want it to sound too crazy, but maybe that's what it sounds in a Pleiadian beach. In any event, have fun. Click over to flanger. Play around with the delay time. Higher delay values give kind of like a doubling effect, which you're already sort of getting with the delay, but it gives a different type of modulation. I typically like phaser better. And then, of course, if you want more of that doubling effect, go to doubler and play around. You can do this with analog, you can do this with dragging in a white noise sample into simpler sampler. You just need to have a filter, a frequency, resonance, and a way to modulate them with an LFO, which is basically everything. So I just wanted to show one example, not to get too heavy into the weeds. If you would like to see another Ableton Live tutorial, because you definitely liked my tree tone tutorial, well then let me know. Show some love because I'll keep making these things like Ableton Live is amazing not just for like recording your guitar or singing or, or just like throwing in a bunch of loops but for like designing sounds no one's heard before and if you really want to get freaky I think Wavetable <laughs> using Ableton's Wavetable synthesizer is so incredible so I mean just look at this bad boy I mean let's let's get freaky with Wavetable I know you want to do it. Um, boy, this is starting to sound weird. Oh man, it's, it's just so fun. Have a great day. Take it easy. Play this on. It will play forever. It will just keep looping. 
and you can then have it play while you you can make yourself like an hour-long mix <laughs> or do whatever you want